after we have it loaded up with uh, Fioki slugs and uh, we'll see how it likes it. Whew. <laughs> Welcome back everybody. We have a special guest today. Uh, Mr. Rubber Dummy is making an appearance and we are going to be testing out the Safe Flight Defense uh, carrier here which has level 3 alpha inserts in it. So these inserts right here. A few things that are cool about the carrier here and the inserts of course. Number one, I get a lot of questions from viewers asking about different sizing options out there. Uh, these ones are available I think all the way up to 7x or 8x. Um, so for you big guys out there who want armor protection, they do offer it. So there is that. Uh, the one we have here is just a medium for example but it's all going to be the same material either way uh, level three alpha for those that don't know for those that are new here generally is good going to stop most pistol rounds out there uh, up to 44 magnum and uh, we're going to test that here today um suppose that's enough talking for me let's see if this thing actually stands up to its rating as you can see we're fairly close probably about 10 feet away first up we're going to start with some rip rounds people ask about these all the time we'll see how it does Let's go check it out. As you guys saw, we punched him in the chest and there on the backside, absolutely nothing at all. Let's keep hammering it. Up next, we have some Spear Gold Dot 40 Smith & Wesson out of the uh, Glock 40 problem solver. So, <laughs> see how that does. Let's check it out. We had our impact right here. Once again, looking through on the back, there's nothing. I can actually feel it where it hit, but no evidence of deformation or anything like that. Let's keep going. Up next, we have the 44 Magnum Ruger Super Blackhawk, and this is actually loaded with uh, semi-jacketed hollow point rounds of 44 Magnum. So this is the actual load that the NIJ would be using. And uh, we'll see how it does. See how my hand does as well. Put a couple more in for good measure. I think that's it. I'm not sure if you can tell the difference on camera, but the holes are definitely bigger, as you'd expect with that big round. Got a couple impacts there. And uh, on the backside, just feeling it, I can feel the bullet in there. It certainly stopped it, but it did deform it a little bit. That said, it would be a whole lot more comfortable uh, getting hit with one of those in a plate rather than in your chest, that's for sure. Now we have a couple 12 gauge buckshot rounds for it. It's double op buck Fioki stuff. So we will see how it likes it. I'm guessing it won't like it, but it'll be fine. There we go. Let's go check it out. With those two rounds, I was trying to keep them pretty darn close, and it actually has a pretty tight pattern as well out of that uh, Jerry Michelick shotgun. So we had a lot of pellets concentrated right there into about a two inch area. And you can see out here in the back, basically what's happening there is that's just the force pushing it through and tearing uh, the actual label on there, but there's no pass throughs at all. Now I'm gonna to try to channel my inner Hickok 45 with a little bit of slug fest here. We have it loaded up with uh, Fioki slugs and uh, We'll see how it likes it. Whew. <laughs> that is just nasty. Let's go check it out. Pretty safe to say that you would have some floral ribs if you took all those rounds, but we'll see if we had any pass through. And it looks like we did. We had one go through, and it looks like it was right there where we had multiple uh, projectiles hitting it at the same time. That said, you know, if somebody's shooting slugs at you at, at 10 feet, you would be wise to move uh, for sure. 
<laughs> I got something in here I'm pulling out. That's the wad from one of them. Either way, guys, it stopped all of them besides one. As we mentioned earlier in the video, this level of armor is designed to stop really all pistol rounds, and it did that. So it stopped the 44 Magnum, 9 millimeter Gucci round, 40, all that stuff, and a bunch of slugs and buckshot as well. Uh, it's actually kind of impressive with that concentration of buckshot that it stopped all of that. Um, but one thing people ask about often here is, uh, will it stop subsonic 300 blackout? If you look at the ballistics of it, energy-wise, it's very similar to what you'd see with, say, like 45 ACP. Um, but one thing that uh, makes a difference with armor is how efficient the bullet is. If it has a good ballistic coefficient, those sorts of things. Uh, it's got essentially the same energy, same weight, but it's going through and entering the armor at a much basic, much more focused point. So we'll see if that makes a difference. As we mentioned, 300 blackout subsonic. This is 220 grain ammo. We got a cobalt kinetics uh, rifle here with a 10 and a half inch barrel. And uh, my guess is it'll punch right through, but you never know. Let's see. Let's check it out. So we had our impact right here on the left side and looking through, very small hole once again. It did go through uh, just about an inch higher than that slug that we saw earlier, guys. But again, it's not rated for that, but I just like to show that because that is one factor that folks are looking for with uh, subsonic 300 blackout. But yeah, like we said, guys, this thing stopped everything it was supposed to stop. We just abused it a little bit. And uh, that's kind of what we do here. Regardless, guys, um, these, like I said, come in lots of different sizes, different colors, all of those sorts of things. I'm sure many of you guys are asking about price point. Price point on these is roughly in the $500 range. That's going to vary just depending on size. So I think the really big sizes are a little bit more. Of course, you can use code Mr. Guns and Gear to get 10% off as well, and there'll be a link down below in the video description or in the comment section, I suppose, depending on where you're actually watching this. But yeah, one of the big advantages of these types of carrier systems and this type of level three armor is that you get essentially full coverage, right? So you can wrap around the side rather than wearing, you know, your 10 to 12 uh, plates. So in gunfights, a lot of times, particularly when rifles or long guns are used, people are up like this and that exposes your undersides and having that side protection is obviously very important if that is the case. So that's pretty much it guys. Quick test out in the desert with the Safe Flight Defense Level 3 Alpha. Uh, they actually had me out here. They provided this for the test. So I want to thank the folks over there as well. But thanks for watching guys. Thanks for subscribing. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I look forward to seeing everybody in the next video.